How's it going everyone? I'm Solar Rock bringing you guys today another video. This time we're playing GP in the top lane. What the heck? My settings didn't save. I literally just played a game on this account. My settings didn't save. What the heck? Oh, I'm so sad. I was literally just on this account. I don't know why. I literally just lost the game. <laughs> I don't know why my uh, thingies didn't save. Hold on. But, uh, how's it going, everyone? Solar Bright bringing you guys today another video. This time we are playing. Oh my god, that's a Fiddlesticks with Unsealed Spellbook. Christ. But we are playing GP in the top lane today, looking for some good kills. I believe we're playing in Platinum, in High Plat, Platinum 2, Platinum 1. Yeah. So, uh, if you guys like the video, be sure to leave a like, comment down below what you want to see next, subscribe, and also be sure to check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash solarbaka. I go back to streaming regularly starting on Monday, but by the time this video gets uploaded, I might be streaming too, if there's a miracle. Also, be sure to follow my second uh, channel, Solarbaka Highlights, and yeah, I'm pretty much going to grind out content now, because before I really wasn't, and I need to. I kind of need to just grind content. Okay, stop that. Trendemir will never crit. Nice. I played the early uh, waves wrong, the, that, that first wave. I played it very bad. Jesus, he crit with 20%, man. Now he has 35. He's gonna flash onto me. Whoops. I, I didn't even get my auto off. I would have killed him without having to burn flash. That's my bad. <laughs> uh, I can't even recall here. I have to blow up a barrel. Oh, damn it. Okay, I just have to recall though. I can't stay for this wave or I die. Trying to be your flash and ignited. I played that early wave wrong because I was doing my intro and all that, but we're chilling. <gasps> did I do my intro? Oh, I forgot if I did my intro. Not <gasps> for all of you psychopaths with the fetish in my comment section. Let me make sure everything's working. I am playing on a completely new setup, as I stated before. So I'm, this is my like test recording before I stream and before I do more videos. So that's why I'm also playing in a lower elo count as as uh, for a change. Because recently I've been just spamming my main account, so. Yeah, yeah. Just getting used to everything. I have a freeze here. Oh, look at this pike. He wants to roam. I'm not opposed. Pretty sure he has vision in that bush, though. I'm pretty sure he has vision in the bush. We can look to dive this guy if I ever get ignite. Right now it's just really hard to do that though. Like I can't follow up on this. It's just not possible. Okay. <laughs> I mean alright. <laughs> There's an Olaf chilling here. That's cool. Got yeah, no problem with that. Pretty much Trenomir lane, how you win is just freezing. Freezing is the easiest way to beat Trenomir. If you try to go for 1v1s, every 1v1 will be close if you're against the Trenomir who has a brain. If you're against bad Trenomir, every 1v1 will be just super easy for you. But overall, freezing is just better. Freezing avoids those close fights while still getting that same exact uh, lead. You have the same exact lead without having to win by 50 health. Instead, you can survive by like 600 health and be able to kill him via CS. What else can we do? Is my sound up? God, every everything's so quiet, man. Okay, that's too freaking loud. I can solo kill him if he jumps on me. He's going to try and jump on me because I'm going to threaten to freeze. And if I threaten to freeze, he's going to be like, Oh no, I don't want to miss out on this entire wave, so I'm going to go on him. We should see that very soon. Oh, it's right here. Earlier than usual. Very nice. They have no concept of misery. 
I could set a... It, it wouldn't freeze, it would slow push. And I know it would slow push because it's 7 minions to 7 minions. So I'm just gonna pop an orange and I'm gonna stay in lane because I have tons of sustain. Because I have lots of mana. Like one more mana and a corrupting pot and I'll be at like 90% health. That's pretty good. Yeah, one more orange and a corrupting pot. Not gonna use my corrupting pot now because orange heals based off missing health and corrupting pot's a flat amount. So, like, it makes no sense to use the flat amount before you use the percentage one. Like now. I believe Trinomir ignited me, but I'm not sure. I can go for a dive on him. If I die, it's worth, still. He's waiting for his ult, and then he'll jump on me. We're chilling. Wait, does my fiddlesticks have ignite? What? Oh my! <laughs> I played that little bit sloppy. I won't lie. I mean, I knew I wouldn't die there, but I could have had more health. What the hell was that? My fiddlesticks just smacked him with the <laughs> unsealed spellbook. <laughs> oh my god. I've never seen the tech before. Good to see though. Perfect. Hold this up in two minutes. Well, his unsealed spellbook didn't help him there. This guy's not old, so I can kill him. Whatever. It's annoying. I didn't want to have to burn my flash, but because my spacing was bad, I had to burn it. I definitely could have played that better to uh, to get that kill without using my flash. It's whatever, though. It is what it is. Stop taking can cannons, Kaisa. You're a... Wait. <laughs> You're a bitch. Why is this guy angry? I'm pretty sure Pike's execute range is like 300 or 400. You know what I mean? Like the health? I'm pretty sure Relic Shield has a really high base thing. Yeah, 50%. Oh my god, 50% is a pretty huge threshold. How do you miss a <laughs> how do you miss a 50% health threshold? Uh do I wanna recall? Olaf's alive, so I'm not going to mess with that. Oh! Oh! We can kill this Trinomir. Yep, go the other way. I think he's gonna dash on me, honestly. Come on, fiddle. That was really troll. Wait, what is, what is there? Your 1 HP Yasuo doing there? What is happening this game, actually? I don't even. <laughs> okay, whatever, man. It's like one second. I don't know, there's too much. <laughs> there's too much happening in this game. 0-5 Trendomir though, not bad. It's because of how we played the... Uh, like, despite me playing that early wave, like, not properly, and I'm sure if you rewatch the video, you'll be able to see it for yourselves, 
uh, we still kill him. And it's obviously because I'm doing it by standards of if I was in a challenger game. Obviously this isn't a challenger game, but that doesn't mean you should drop your standards in terms of your own gameplay. Yeah, I'm really slow right now. I'm doing everything. He goes for this barrel, he dies. Nice. Very, very, very nice. Second I have my Triforce, I know I can kill any matchup and just pretty much take their entire tower from full. So that's exactly what I'm going to do to this Trindomir. Super nice. Nice. I think you can get level 11 of Krugs and then I'll recall. Ooh, actually I can kill uh, Trinomir. Yeah, I can kill Trinomir if he goes for too much. Ooh, this is going to be greedy. Got him. Ooh! I hit the barrel, I hit the barrel, I queued, I autoed, I think I got a Sheen, uh, I got a Sheen auto as well, Sheen empowered auto attack. That was perfectly calculated there, nice. What the? What just happened? Did I kill Yasuo? Yasuo's 1 HP? Oh! Zerath! Oh my god, he's so pissed. I think my Zerath needs to be locked up though, for that ultimate, <laughs> and for ulting in the middle of everyone. I think he needs uh, a bit of a, a bit of jail time, but you know, not a big deal. I'm 6 and now, what the heck? Wait for Sheen proc. Out time him. Here we go. Chill with him. Slow him. I think he flashed away. Whatever. I'll just kill him. I'll take his XP. I don't care about his gold, I'll take his XP though. I'm in level 12. Anywhere closer to my level 13, I'll take it. Right now I have 7 of our 20 kills. Uh, just a little fed, some might say. This is a matchup I used to fear a lot, but now, no matter who I'm against, whether it be Fogged or some of those higher elo Trinomir players, uh, it seems like freezing is just the way to go in those types of matchups. I think I've just been brainwashed too much, honestly. By the Church of LS. But definitely 100%, like, even if you're against a player who's better than you, if they make one mistake in terms of the wave, you can always just hard punish them. And I think that's something you can take uh, comfort in. I think the other day, as well, yesterday it was, I was playing Aurelia versus Aatrox. I'm pretty sure it was Aurelia versus Aatrox, yeah. And obviously it's already an Aurelia favorite matchup, but the Aatrox was getting jungle attention. So what did I do? I froze the wave, and I think it's either an LCS or Academy top laner, and what happened? He was 100 CS down at, uh, I, I tell one on my team as well. I, in fact, that was yesterday's video. Wait, no it wasn't. That was a different video. Or was that even a video? Or was I just playing? I don't know. Point is, 
point is here, let me put this Kermit a little bit uh, higher as I this video comes to a close. The point is, even if you're against a player who's a thousand notches above you, if you learn fundamentals like freezing or fundamentals like uh, wave management, anything of that sort, you don't need the mechanics. There's tons of players who are in higher elo, like yes, obviously most of them have mechanics, but you could get easily to diamonds or even masters through just knowing how to control a wave. And if you, if you, that's why in these videos, it's not, it's not always just me slamming the enemy laner. You know what I mean? In terms of kills. I believe the video I uploaded two or three days ago where I had Chase Shaco on my team, I absolutely crushed and dominated through wave management as well, where we get, I was against Soul Mario. And I have many videos against uh, some of the best one tricks, some of the best players in the region. And how do I win? Even though my mechanics are... Uh, okay, well, they're alright, but they could be better. It's just through wave management. So if you guys can learn that, you guys can reach any elo that you want to obtain. With that said, I'm going to end the video here. It was a pleasant game. It was a great warm-up. And yeah, catch you guys on my stream, twitch.tv slash solarbaka. I'm going to be streaming more often. And yeah, see you guys in the next video. Oh, leave your comments down below as well, uh, telling me, or just ask questions and stuff. I always do read them and I address them on my stream or in the next video, so, yeah. Be sure you guys, uh, make sure you guys comment. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Peace out, everyone. Bye-bye.